Badika. We're from Burlington, Vermont, and uh, we got six people in the band. Um, that's Matt David right there on the baritone sax. That's Caleb Bronze on the drums. Um, Chris Hawthorne on synth and trumpet and effects. I myself play Ngoni. Uh, it's a West African instrument uh, coming from Mali, pentatonic harp. Um, this is Colin Lennox right here playing guitar in the band as well as keys. And that's Johnny Rivetto also plays the bass. Barika is a word that they use in West Africa um, to show appreciation and acknowledge the greatness that people bring to the community. So it's usually done through the art of jelia, or in French they call them griots. And griots are kind of like the, um, the vehicle to tell the story through song of family lineage. Um, and they always start off by saying a barika. Barika is almost like... Um, let it let this person be seen, like acknowledge this person, you know, then they'll continue on to talk about the person where they came from, uh, what they do, what they've done for the community, what their family has done, so on and so forth. And um, so that's Barika.
describing our band's sound is uh, something I've kind of struggled with. And, um, but uh, there's elements of West African um, influence because the instrument itself comes from Mali. Actually, can you grab that instrument for me? The Ngoni comes from Mali, West Africa, and uh, it's a pentatonic harp, like I said. So there's, uh, there's a lot of heavy rhythm because this is a melodic instrument, but it's also very rhythmic. And I started as a drummer um, and then found this, and it was a great um, segue into melody for me being a drummer and not really having such a grip on theory. So yeah, it's based off of this instrument and there's a heavy rhythmic force, highly danceable, but there's also this psychedelic um, kind of element to it as well. It can get really dreamy, um, but then we have a big horn section, um, which gives this kind of power, like this Afrobeat style. Um, it's another style coming out of West Africa, but I call it like high energy dance music with a West African influence. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> I've been studying West African percussion for over 16 years now. Um, and I started predominantly with uh, music from drums, specifically from Guinea, Senegal, Ivory Coast, and Mali. Um, I go back and forth, take trips, and go study with my teachers and hang out with my friends. And uh, one night, I was just sitting on the train tracks in uh, the big city in Guinea. It's named Conakry. And uh, with some friends, we were playing this instrument called a gongoma. It's kind of like a percussion instrument and just singing songs. And this guy came walking down the tracks with a goni and just playing this goni. And I just like, what is that thing, man? You know? And uh, it just blew my mind. I was just like, wow, this has such an amazing sound. And the guy had a great voice. And just um, the rhythmic aspect of it mixed with the melody, I, I just, um, I had no choice. Yeah, it kind of just took me over, and I was like, yep, I want to make this a priority. So uh, the next year, I set out um, for a trip to Mali, specifically just to study Goni.
We just came out with our third album. It's called When the Time Comes. And this album, we tried to do um, something a little different. I, we tried to bring more vocalists, guest vocalists, into this because the majority of our music is instrumental. Um, but we love having guest artists, singers, and vocalists come up and uh, participate. And we love collaborating. So there will be a lot more of that in the future.
you so much, everybody. That's our last song. We are Buddy Kyle. We're from here in Burlington, Vermont. Appreciate y'all coming out tonight. Thank you so much.